Hey, this is Paul from Pink Shift. Uh, we're on tour with the Gaslight Anthem and Joyce Manor. We're in Chicago today playing the Salt Shed, and I'm gonna run you through some of the gear that we're using specifically on this run. So, this is one of the guitars I brought on this tour. It's the main one I've used since like the fall of 2022. It's pretty much the main one that I uh, that I use on tour. It's very light. It's uh, an Epiphone SG. Picked it up for pretty cheap at Guitar Center. Uh, it's got a little dinged up. Yeah, so pretty much I have the neck pickup turned off for the whole set. Um, this is dialed down to zero and the tone knobs, well I guess this tone knob is virtually useless for this one since this is off, but tone knob for the bridge pickup is all up to 10 and volume's up to 10 and I kind of use this switch that I just replaced because um, these are like the single coil humbucker you can like switch them by like pushing on pushing up on these uh, pots but I switched them because I don't really use the single coil feature so I just kind of turn it off when I don't need to use it turn it uh, flip it down for when it's time to play uh, and just kind of like do little kill switch little effects on certain songs um, there's this brand uh, this company called Chipson that makes uh, this funny little thing. My name is Paul, so I was like, oh, why not use like less Paul, more Paul when I play like, okay. Yeah, so uh, Mikey, who's playing guitar for us, uh, put me on to the Dario uh, XL, or XS actually. Yeah, I played 1052's XS because my hands are really sweaty. So uh, this keeps me from not having to change them every few shows, but usually every five to six shows, try to give them a, a little restring. And uh, I have the Schaller strap, strap locks um, on pretty much all my guitars. Uh, they're, they're pretty sick, really easy to just slide in and off. Um, and I got a little Ellis Dunes bandana that is just like really cute. I threw it on when we toured with them last year. Just put it on, I was like, damn. And uh, yeah, this is a little wireless pack. I use a Shure GLXD uh, 16, I think is the, the model uh, for the wireless system that I use. Uh, so this guitar is tuned to drop C sharp, so is the backup guitar. Um, but some songs we play are in drop B. E. So uh, my pedal board has a little pitch shifter that I use, so didn't bring too many guitars on this one. So yeah, either drop C sharp or drop B e for this tour. Uh, so just got this flight case earlier this year from Quantum Industries. It's actually a bass case because um, we were flying to Europe and we needed a something to put our guitars in, in a pinch. So Zach from Quantum Industries hooked us up with uh, a nice little, nice little discount on this uh, Quantum Industries bass flight case. Uh, and in here we got like little pouches, store some of the like guitar uh, tools whenever we're in a pinch. In here it's got, oh here's a sure wireless system. Install a little, uh, little tools to make sure we're uh, ready to go for this show. So this is the back of the guitar. It is uh, also an Epiphone SG. Uh, it's an Epiphone SG400. I'm not sure from what year it is, but uh, it's the first SG I got from like a yard sale. Um, and it made me fall in love with SGs, which is why I got the gold one not too long after. Um, but yeah, this one, is a, a little different. I think I don't actually know like which of these knobs go to these pickups, but it's the same deal where everything's turned up to 10. I'm just full, solely on the neck, sorry, the bridge pickup. And uh, yeah, this one does not have Schaller actually. It's my one guitar I lie, it's my one guitar that doesn't have Schaller uh, strap locks. But yeah, also tune to drop C sharp. Um, a little bit heavy because it's a uh, it's got more electronics in it, and I guess, I don't know, maybe it came from a smoke or something, who knows? But, yeah, this is the backup that we thankfully have not had to use yet. So, this is our little, uh, pedal board, my pedal board case. It's the IEC cable to connect to it. So, recently, last year, uh, I switched over to uh, Quad Cortex before I had, like, a whole digital system, ran into an EVH head, a 5150, um, but, because this tour is, we're playing uh, big stages, uh, my little cab is not really needed. So I ditched the cab and the power amp 
uh, just for this tour. And I'm just bringing uh, the Quad Cortex. I have a Mission Engineering uh, Expression pedal and the Polytune Mini. And a little Altoids case, my picks. Uh, specifically, I use the 2mm Ernie Ball Prodigies. Um, this, I don't know why I have it. So, uh, for this run, I actually just upda updated it to the 3.0 thing where you can use like plugins. Um, so, I actually am just running the Gojira plugin uh, for the dirty sound. And for the clean sound, I think I'm using like their like Fender Deluxe Reverb, like, semi like sim of that. Um, and just switching between those two. Um, and then using like the Gojira pitch shifter, the compressor, just kind of like sprinkling, sprinkling in little things here and there. With that. Um, on the bottom, have, uh, I gotta figure out a better way to like keep this mounted. <laughs> but on the back, because I've like kind of downsized, I try to I try to hide a lot of my stuff under there. So I have a Strymon Zuma that uh, when I was running like my eight analog pedals. This was like perfect for it. Um, and in order to power the quad though, you can't plug the quad straight into this. So I was like trying to find a little thing to, uh, to make that run without having to have like two power supplies. So I run this, uh, the Chox Crux out of um, the Strymon. You can like chain this, the Zuma to like the Ojai and other little power supplies. So, uh, Instead of chaining it to an Ojai, I don't even think that's how you say it, but I uh, plug it into the crux and the crux goes into the quad. So when I use the IEC cable for the Strymon, everything powers up. Nice and uh, nice and easy. Oh, this is the Sure receiver. Um, I had to let, it doesn't just mount under the pedal train, this is like an old version. So I like kind of cut a little piece of wood to like have it sit like perfectly and just uh, Velcroed the hell out of it, but clearly it's not working, so I gotta figure that out. Um, and uh, oh, this is a little junction box that a buddy of mine made for me. Uh, it's it's just like it's there's no electronics in it. It's just a convenient thing to have all the pedals go in and out. I don't really use it to its fullest extent right now, just because it's the uh, you know gotta the quad has a direct line out. But when I was running like the four cable method with the EVH, this was perfect for it. Um, so for this tour, we have like. Uh, a few different presets for different songs, um, but one thing that's pretty standard is uh, I have this expression pedal that doubles as a volume pedal and a wah pedal. So when I turn it on, it's uh, automatically set to like volume expression. Uh, so I use that for swells and stuff. And uh, I inverted the like the wah, like the engage switch. So when I click it, it turns into a wah, and I can just kind of like play around with that for solos or or any other like textural things. And if I click it back again, it turns back into a, a volume. So it, it took me like a few minutes to figure out that's you know. But aside from that, because um, on my on my old pedal board I had both a wah and a volume pedal, so I was like trying to get a way to include that in this like digital ring because you can't really have multiple expression pedals with the quad. Maybe you can. Who knows? Um, and. So that's pretty much standard for every preset uh, for each song. And the way I have my tones kind of lined up is I have like, if I'm playing like a rhythm part during a song, I got this bottom left one, it's easy to reach rhythm. Yeah. Uh, then I uh, engage like a little overdrive and a volume boost for leads. Uh, then a little bit more volume for solos here. And for some songs, I want like the same like solo tone with just like a lot of reverb on there, and I just tune that up here, or I switch to H on there. So everything's pretty much just on this lower row, like rhythm, lead, solo, and then solo with verb. Um, and then for some songs, we, we use a clean tone, and that's usually like up here. Uh, but. That's pretty much it for, for each song, and I have a, a pitch shifter engaged, like a pitch shifter button, uh, which is one of these two depending on the song. Um, but that's pretty that's pretty much takes us through the whole set for this run specifically. Uh, we got a little loop station 
and a Nux like foot switch. So for some songs, so this is actually our first tour with uh, Mikey and Kirby joining us. So before, um, I was on guitar and either Mikey or Kirby would be playing bass. So I got this little rig to put the rhythm guitar tracks um, on here and I would trigger them myself. So Maya would like count, it up, count us off. Um, and he's playing to a, a, a metronome in his ear and I would trigger this so that the rhythm guitar tracks would come up with us. Um, and pretty much also have like little samples in there. Uh, on Suraksha, our EP that we put out last year, we have some um, some like Indian folk instruments that are layered in the songs. Um, so we tried to bring that to our live show too, so we just kind of loaded that onto here too. So we're not using rhythm guitar tracks anymore, we got a full five piece band. Um, but we do have like synths and pads, um, dol, tabla, uh, layered into certain songs. And uh, yeah, I made this little, uh, this little plyboard, plywood, plywood board, plyboard, that's what we'll call it. Um, daisy chained into the one spot. I have to find a, a better way to, to do this because when you fly through TSA and they open your bag and they see this, uh, it is not the, uh, for someone that, that doesn't know what this is, they see wires and things on a plywood and they're like, they're like, we gotta talk to you for a second. So this might have to change soon. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, watching this video and checking out the gear. Uh, I'm just gonna play in Pink Shift, uh, Pink Shift MD on all socials. And um, keep an eye out for early 2025. We're gearing up to release some songs soon and potentially a tour in the first half of 2025, so keep an eye out on that.